Blood in with the mob, let the young niggas at large Why ain't I see my young niggas in charge? Why you in G, that's a life way, is that at a highway you play and you probably see stars? Well, I probably see bars, shots at the time Yo, what it do, it's your boy, LOL Nick, and I got my brother DP501 And we are the Pay Thoughts Podcast Man, and like I always say, DP, we back Already We done did it again, baby What you got going, man? How your week been? Man, look, my week has been my week, man. Ain't nothing too spectacular, you know what I'm saying? Another day, another dollar, you know. Same shit, different toilet, you know. Oh, I go. What about your week, my nigga? I can't do no complaining, man. Same old shit. Work, grind. Mm. Same old shit, bro. Any new bitches? <laughs> I ain't go with this shit. <laughs> this nigga here, man. I mean, I, you know, you gotta ask, man. That that be brighten up a nigga day. You always gonna get money, but you don't come around too many new hoes, man. <laughs> Depends on who he is. Hey, man, I feel you, man. Uh, man, but today, man, we got a special guest in this motherfucker, man. And uh, this is one of them motherfuckers that's been highly requested. You know what I'm saying, like. Yeah. You know, uh, me being from my side of Arkansas, I was kind of late to the party, but she, y'all know me. I do my one, two Wikipedia thing, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, she, I mean, look, when I say, like, nigga, the nigga, hey, his, 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 like, program and his motherfucking following and, like, even when the nigga did time, nigga, you seen how strong his shit was with his people still repping hard for him and putting out... Videos and whoop the whoop. I couldn't do nothing but salute this shit. No and it's a you know a real deal. Honor and a pleasure to have this brother in the motherfucking studio. DP, who we got in here with us, man? We got the chosen child, Feezy Red. Oh yeah, Feezy no Red. Y'all know what's going on. What's going down, bro? Man, not shit. You How you know? been? I've been good. Trying yeah. to stay sucker free. Introduce hey. yourself, man, for the people who don't know. Man, this feeds red for y'all that don't know. You feel me? Coming out of Little Rock, Arkansas, Schiller Street to be exact. You feel me? You know, I'm just going to. Everything else is going to speak for itself. You feel me? No doubt. No doubt. Bro. I can dig that, goddamn me. Oh, how old were you when you started rapping, bro? Because you bro, was young, then a motherfucker in the I studio, no and y'all niggas was on the computers and shit. Y'all I recorded niggas. my first song when I was about. Uh, I was in the fourth grade, so however, however old you was when you in the fourth grade, like eight. Yeah. You feel me? About eight, nine. Yeah. Pops had the studio on the barrel. Yeah, it was about eight, nine. I was about Shout eight, out nine. to Big Feezy. Yeah. yeah. I listened to that motherfucker a thousand times. Yeah. When I first heard that motherfucker. You still listen to some of your old shit? I can't find it, bro. Yeah. I can't find it nowhere. I don't know where the hard drive is. You know what I'm saying? I know yeah. how to find the shit I got when I was like 14, 15. Yeah. But the shit when I was eight, nine, ten, eleven, I can't find that shit. Yeah. Yeah. What was your upbringing like, bro? Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I know you got a, a music kind of background when you say nigga been rapping since you was eight and shit like that. Really? So, like, but what was the, what was the growing up in Little Rock like? Like, you know, niggas got in, they. The growing up in Little Rock experience. <laughs> Man, that's a good question. You yeah. feel me? Where do I start? But, you know, it's like, uh, really just. Family oriented, you know okay. what I mean? Or like I got uh, f- so many cousins, brothers and sisters, daddy got 20 kids, you know what I'm saying? We all around the same age, you feel me? Damn. So <laughs> it's really just it's family, you know what I'm saying? I grew up with the, in a big family, you know what I mean? Two, three bedroom houses, 30 of us, 30 of us, 30, I mean 30 of us in this motherfucker. Damn, man. No bullshit. Shit, shit why? No Look, bullshit. Look, that, that, that be sounding like bad, that, don't it? Boy. Yeah, that be it be sounding outside bad, but yeah, yeah nigga. Outside all day, you know. Yeah. So whatever we get into, we get into. We just outside all day. I'm on YouTube, bro. I'm watching uh the Dark Angels and shit and the Nightmares and Dreams. I, I went back and watched some of yeah. that shit. Yeah. Shit. You do you ever watch some of that shit, bro? I, mean, I was like, watching that shit the other day. I've been the nigga. Yeah. I was watching that shit the other day. Yeah. 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 I was watching that shit the other day just to. Remind a nigga where they come from, you know what I'm saying? Keep that same hunger, you know what I mean? Sometimes, a lot, I feel like a lot of niggas forget where they come from, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I just go back and watch that shit so I, to remember where they came from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To get the, the foundation, the roots, you know what I'm saying? And you so, still young, though, right? Yeah, hell yeah. How old are you? 25. God 25. damn. 25. You yeah, just 25. came home from a four year sentence? Four year bid, yeah. Yeah. Nigga, that's really what I wanted to know, nigga. You did. So, you 25, you've been home like a year, right? Hell no, nah, I've been home like 
I actually been home going on like 40 some days. Like I had, I had got out October. Mm-hmm. But I was really in the halfway house home confinement and shit. You know what okay, I'm saying? They sent okay. me back on some hating ass shit. They had sent a nigga back for like five months. You know what I'm saying? So I just got out in July. Yeah. Damn. I've so been out like 30 some 30 some days. Boy, your ass went to the to the feds when you was 20? Yup, 21. I had just turned 21. Them niggas waited. They said, send him on his birthday. <laughs> God, man. Some bullshit. I went fed for the most pettiest shit ever. Man. You was dropping some hits back then, though, know, like before you went to the feds. You had a campaign going strong, bro. Man, before I went, I was in that mode. You got I was shot. In that mode, you know what I mean? You, then you dropped trench talk. Yeah. Bro. Uh. That trench talk was so motherfucking that hard. That shit went no, hard. I ain't gonna like, care. I saw that, that shit. That shit a classic. You dropped that shit. That shit was a classic. Then you came back with trench talk too. I dropped trench talk too. I was locked up. That's what I'm saying. Like, so you didn't get to promote finish. that shit. You didn't get to finish. exactly. Now I won't finish. That's now I won't finish. Man, with with your like, bro, give me a, give me something like why you feel like your campaign so strong where you where you from? Cause nigga. My campaign I go is see. so strong. I feel like because a nigga really active, like, you feel me? Like, you can see me, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, you can see me around this motherfucker. You know, growing up, you feel me? Like, I'm hands-on since I was 10, 9. Th- Everybody know me growing up, you feel me? Mm-hmm. It don't matter what it is, you Little know? young you man, see me around here. You know, You done seen me around here. You know, a lot of niggas be... You done seen me around here yeah. from everywhere, you feel me? So mm-hmm. it's like a nigga, motherfucker feel like they know a nigga, you feel me? And to mm-hmm. hear a nigga's story, they be like, oh, that nigga ain't friend. You know what right. I'm saying? So... They really know a nigga, you feel me? So that'd be the difference, you feel me? Man, I'm talking about difference. nigga. That trench Talk 2 intro. Nigga, I watched that video. Nigga, the bad part about it is, nigga, you don't see your face in that motherfucker nowhere, but you you was in that motherfucker. So it was like, I'm like, damn, this nigga, nigga, I'm talking about 100, 200 niggas free fees in T-shirts. And I'm like. That video, I ain't see that motherfucker to about Two and a half years after he got shot. Yeah. Damn. Uh, first time I seen that motherfucker, I was turnt. Oh, crazy. God, <laughs> nigga. Hey. I was turnt. It was yeah. almost like you was free, nigga. I'm like, damn, this nigga is here. Because, bro, your people roll for you, nigga. That's, I love that type of shit, bro. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That was love. Shit, you got out when you was fucking with Jay Prince and shit. I seen yeah. you fucking with Jay Prince, yeah. man. How you fuck with Jay Prince? We had locked in. At, um, we, was locked, we was locked up together in Beaumont. You feel yeah. me? We just locked in like that, just genuine natural shit. You yeah. feel me? So me and bro had locked in. You feel me? Oh, just yeah. on some, just on some some regular type shit. You right. feel me? It ain't no, just on some regular type shit. Nah, no, no Real nigga, the real nigga. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. So any any type of any type of future endeavors when it comes to Jay Prince and Mob Ties? It might be. You feel me? Yeah. We gonna, you know what I mean? We gonna keep that on the under. It might be. You right. know? Yeah. You, niggas can pay attention to that, you feel me? That's something to pay attention to. Okay, you know? yeah, definitely. Blood in with the mob. Bloody young niggas at large. Why not see my young niggas in charge? Why you in G? That's a life way. Is that at a highway you play and you probably see stars? Well, I probably see bars. Shots at the top and ass shit for a stuff with that bitch on the lick with a brick of that oil. Watch you whipping that joy and see that.